The entrance of God's word gives light and it brings understanding to the simple. Even as you're about listening to this message by the man of God, we hope that the light of God's word will be shed abroad in your heart. You will know what to do and you will know how to live. And so if you're new to this channel, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this message. Also go to the comment section and comment whatever you have learned. Share this message abroad because we won't always be a blessing to the world. Thank you. You will never have God more than what you already have. Can you take more? Can you take more? Okay, you can't take more. I can close now. Can you take more? Somebody say fire. Fire what? <laughs> fire, fire, fire. <laughs> I should fire. Okay, I'll fire on all cylinders. We are going to see in another few minutes that nobody actually left their body when they went to heaven. We are going to see practically from the scriptures that nobody ever left their body when they went to heaven. Every experience people had even when they had encounters with Jesus, it was right in their bodies. Even when they had encounters with Jesus, it was right in their bodies. Look at Revelation 1.10. Revelation chapter 1 verse 10. Read for me, PJ. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. I was in the spirit. After singing, heaven came down and glory fill my soul. And I say, I want to go to heaven. <laughs> Something must be wrong. Notice the word, I was. I was. The word I was is a Greek word, genomai. G-I-N-O-M-A-I. It means I appeared to. I came into. Every time you use the word genomai, it's an act of your will. It's an act of your will. I was in the spirit as though he was never in the spirit. It simply meant that there was something John did that brought the spiritual reality into an activity. There was something John did that brought the spiritual reality into an activity. That means being found in what we call the spirit is in your own doing. I was in the spirit. An act of your will. Watch this. And I heard and I saw behind me. Question. Did he leave his body when he said this? Huh? No. The minute your spirit leaves your body, what is that? Death. So all these people that went to heaven and drove range. First of all, I don't even want to go there. Do you know that many of those visions of heaven that people have is a function of a programming that was made in their mind that played out in their subconscious? That's why some of the, what they saw cannot be found in the Bible. Some of what they saw cannot be substantiated in the Bible. The Bible is the book of Christian practice. It's the check and balance for anything God. Once you say... Forget the Bible. The spirit can take you into experiences that are not in the Bible. You have entered spiritism. You are no more a Christian. God gave the word, the written word, as a check and balance for the spirit. That's why the word and the spirit always agree. Because the word is given to check the spirit. If not, 
you will start drinking kerosene in the name of spirit. How we know kerosene cannot be the spirit of God is because we have not found any such in the scriptures. So the Bible is a check and balance for the spirit. That's why things of the spirit are taught in the written word. So that we know what they are and what they are not. That's why Paul would say concerning spirituals, I will not have you ignorant. That means, in fact, I'm writing a book on concerning spirituals. It should be ready in 30 days of glory. Concerning spirituals. Concerning, I will not have you ignorant. So that means I'm going to teach you what to expect as things of the spirit and what not to be ex ex expected. So which means spirituals are taught in the written world. So if anybody is seeing things of the spirit that cannot be substantiated with the Bible, it's either voodooism, if there's English like that, or spiritism, or witchcraft. If it is of the spirit, it will agree with the written word of God. I'm teaching. So the minute your spirit leaves your body, you are dead. So all these people that went, came back, went, came back, went, came back, most of their encounters were in their bodies. Except for people who died. And how I many of you observe, honey, all the people that died in the Bible came back saying nothing. When I'm teaching you Bible, answer me well. When Lazarus came back after four days, what did he say? When Jesus died after three days and he came back, what did he say? All of them came back saying nothing. Jesus rose from the dead after three days and said nothing. The only thing he said after resurrection is he gave gifts to men. Apostle, prophet, for the perfecting of the saints, to do the work of ministry. When Paul will report it, he will say, Christ died according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again according, which means everything Christ will say about his death, burial, and resurrection is what has already been written. There will be no new thing. So that's why when he rose, he said nothing new. Instead, he did Bible study beginning and all. He expounded unto them in all the scriptures, the things. He added no new material. Because once you die out of this body, there is nothing. You know why there's nothing? The only thing that there is after death is that you continue with what you were doing while you were alive. Because you didn't go anywhere. What did Paul say? To be absent from the body is to be present with who? When you are alive, who are you with? Eh? When you are wearing the body, who are you with? Where are you? In Christ. So when you drop the body, where are you? In Christ. Who are you present with? The Lord. Did you go anywhere? No. So will there be new things apart from what was there? No. So there's nothing to say. The people that come to say things. <laughs> we are so grateful. For having you here on our platform kindly hit the subscribe button if you are new here and also like this message for us do well to comment in the comment section because we want to know what you learned and where you're watching us from thank you message community